Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Friday, August 19th. The first reading for today's Daily Mass comes to us from the 37th chapter of the book of the prophet Ezekiel. It reads, The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the spirit of the Lord and sent me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction, so that I saw how many there were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones come back to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, See, I will bring spirit into you, that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin, and put my spirit in you, so you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling, as the bones came together, bone joining bone, and I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, Prophesy to the Spirit, prophesy, Son of Man, and say to the Spirit, Thus says the Lord God, From the four winds came, O Spirit, and breathe into these those who are slain, that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the Spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Thus have been saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them, and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will set you upon your land. Thus you should know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. These powerful words of the prophet Ezekiel are ones that point to the promise of the resurrection from the dead. That our Lord God, even at the time of the people of Israel, foretold what would happen at the end of time, when everything would be restored to the original glory that existed before the fall, and that this world would know the perfections that existed before original sin, and we experience the fullness of eternal life. But I think these words about the resurrection also point to the power of our God. Because sometimes we look out in the world and maybe doubt that our Lord is active and at work. Or maybe we feel as if the Lord is not powerful enough even for some of the problems that exist. But don't let doubt creep into your heart and mind, but return to passages like today's reading and others that point that our Lord God can do anything. And it's for our part that we just must maintain faith and not lose hope, especially in the midst of the challenges, frustrations, and difficulties of life. If dry bones can be brought back together, then any problem, any concern, any frustration can be overcome by God's grace. And I know that for many of us, when will these things happen? When will the Lord act? When will the Lord do the things that only he can do? And the answer to that question is, is no one knows. But also on the flip side, our hope is not dependent upon the Lord doing what we want, but our hope is linked to the knowledge that it will come. Maybe not on our schedule, not on our timeline, but on one that is truly perfect for the salvation of the world and for the fullness of the kingdom. So we too can have hope. 
not only because of the resurrection, because the power of our Lord is more than we can ever imagine. And he is always faithful to his promise because he will send the Holy Spirit and place his spirit within us so that we can experience grace upon grace again as we wait for his promises to be fulfilled. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.